Local police are working to make sure you know what to do should a gunman walk into your job. Our Dermont Terry live in New Berlin to tell us how police departments are training employees to get out safely. Dermont. Carol, people spend just as much time as work as they do at home. So if a gunman entered your office, New Berlin police say there are clear things you should do. And tonight they're reminding companies to have a disaster plan. This is training video of a violent workplace shooting. It's only a scenario, yet it's dramatic. It really shows you uh, and tells you what to do um, if you are caught in a bad situation. New Berlin police and other departments use this video when officers come into businesses and train employees. They show how to run, hide, and fight if a gunman walks into the workplace. We've uh, probably been to about uh, 30 businesses in the city and then we do talks, um, larger talks with multiple businesses so we can cover uh, a, a lot of companies at the same time. Captain Mike Glider tells me the training is free and necessary. The whole key is mental pre-planning, uh, whether you're at work or you're at the movies or you're at the shopping mall or at a restaurant. The shooting in San Bernardino may be the latest mass shooting, but we know these scenes are random. After the Azana Spa shooting, we got a lot of uh, businesses in the area because they, uh, they realize that it can happen here. Even our schools must be prepared. Students at Elmwood Elementary in New Berlin were outside during a scheduled lockdown drill today. They practice how to get out safely if disaster strikes. When we first started doing them a long time ago, you know, parents were asking a lot of questions. Why do we need to do this? Um, and now they've come to realize uh, it's an important part of uh, keeping school safe. Now, police remind res residents of the See Something, Say Something campaign. No matter how small or strange, they want you to report it. Now, since the shooting in San Bernardino, New Berlin police say they have seen an uptick of calls of suspicious activity. They have investigated. It turned out to be nothing, but that is exactly what they want, people to call in anything suspicious. Reporting live in New Berlin tonight, Jermont Terry, today's TMJ4. All right, all good points, Jermont. Thank you.